afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Oakland A's and the Kansas City Royals. It's Royals baseball coming up next. Stepping in, Gerald batting Hayden, third. batting 300 for the series, three for Gerald 10. Hayden. Hey, get your pitch. Stay hot up there. First pitch coming. Here it is. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Unbelievable. A home run. I don't believe what I just saw. I don't believe what I just saw. So it's a two-run shot to right center, number 21 for him on the season, and Oakland has moved out in front here, two to nothing. I know height sights 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday, so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Top of the third set to get underway and set to go as the third baseman, Gerald Hayden. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. And it's belted high and deep into right center. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Solo shot to right center. His second home run of the game. And the A's lead it now 3 to nothing. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter. Digging in the switch hitter, Gerald Hayden. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Yeah, that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, hey listen, a home run is a home run. He pulls this one into right. But he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. At the plate, Gerald Hayden. The As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Really doesn't Hayden. matter what side plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well. Swinging left-handed and swinging from the right side. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. And that one is gone! So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. His third home run of the ball game, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hat trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in a baseball game. Into the box, Basil Wood. The second baseman. Basil. Curran Whoa. gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Pop up. Your ball, your ball. Hayden battles the sun a bit, but has it for out number one. Digging in, Gerald Hayden. And he's shooting for history here as he's homered three times in this one. This is a close one so far, but really go back to that last at bat. That grand slam he hit really kept him in this game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Rowe, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Inside, really stayed one. staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Better clutch up right here. The one-two. Both teams right now with 11 hits hey, in the ballgame. Right 
Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. So striding in, Troy Vogel. The first baseman. Draw. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Ball. Grounded to first. One go, there. Go, 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 go. On to first. Got so it. he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Gotta love that out of your reliever, right? The first batter he faces, he gets to roll over into a double play. Pulled the right string that time, Skip. So coming to the plate, DJ Poole. Not shortstop. DJ Poole. Popped him up. Baxter is under it. But it's the third baseman who gets there to make the play. And that ends the inning. Royals go down 1-2-3. And this one remains tight. It's 8-7. Standing in and working on a fantastic game, Gerald Hayden. He has seven runs driven into his name so far. From the stretch. And it's belted high and deep into right center. It is gone! Holy cow! Oh my goodness! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! So he will touch them all on the grand slam. His fourth in the ball game, as it's now a six-run ball game. You know, talk about having a great day. Four home runs in one game. I would say that's a, more than great. That's a spectacular day. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. 13-7 is how this one ends. The Athletics jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Cesar Vega gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. Kevin France was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Jim Goslin works two full innings in relief to record the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.